So, Venus landing is it's a long story, but to sum it up, it just means love's touch. So initially, we were, we started off as a four-man band, and we just wanted to do like jamming for fun over the holidays. We came across like an event, and we tried out. We made our original song. So, and here we are now. <laughs> I'm Dan, and I'm the singer-songwriter for this band. I'm Clarissa. I'm the guitarist and producer for this band. I'm Anaki and I'm the bassist for this band. I'm Kai, I'm the drummer for this band. And I'm Jovan and I'm the keyboardist for this band. We met through mutual friends mm. like last year. So like like the Danish and Jovan, they were actually like jamming together a lot. And then me and Anaki we also played together. Oh, I joined them. Yeah, so yeah. They, we actually did kind of know each other through mutual friends, but we never formed our band until this year for like the charity live stream. Decided that it was time. <coughs> yeah, like, like for us to build a <laughs> strong, a band stronger band, you know. Really, you know yeah. Can vibe with each other. Yeah. And that's what we are now. Venus landing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have a producer moniker called Dismo, it's spelled DSML. Uh, I, I play the indie pop band Mar Life as well. Because of all these things, I used to travel like a lot. Yeah. Before COVID, I think I spent equal amount of time outside Singapore. Uh, because there, I get to work with kind of uh, regional bands as well. But just been like really diving deep into music, you know, finding out what music means to me and what uh, and how and kind of my place within the music ecosystem. Yeah. This one actually started from a very like uh, innocent phase, like, but then it's born out of pain. Yeah, and I think a lot of people can relate, like, You know, especially when like uh, the themes that some I I tend to talk about with this more tend to be very uh, very personal and very deep. But for now, I'm doing mostly collabs with people. It's more fun now, <laughs> to be honest, just to like fight off each other and create something that you wouldn't have thought of individually. <laughs> The approach to production is a bit different from this move because we are four people, uh, so <laughs> there's a there's a lot of a lot of discourse that goes between and like you know, especially when you think comes to think like uh, things like our future direction, what's it gonna be, you guys? You know, like, then there's a lot of room for interpretation. Whereas this move is all the discussions happen internally. <laughs> yeah, so I, mean, I just find myself like you know, and I cannot sleep. Then I'm thinking about like. Hey, you know, what should I do about this, you know, and like, how should I approach this track. I guess it's more freeing for me as a, as an individual producer to be able to, to make decisions on the fly. I was in Taiwan and then Thailand. These two places, Taiwan and Thailand, uh, for some reason I was in the mountains, in mountainous range. So to me, uh, I can tap on that and, and be inspired by that. With, uh, compared to like, for example, the more life boys, we will never, we will never end up in the mountains with five days of free time, you know. So very different, uh, different scenarios we put in, end up with different inspirations and then different end results. <laughs> we started with a mistake. <laughs> yeah, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. <laughs> We were at, um, we were sitting down in like her studio, and our dear drummer guy, he he was messing around with the drums, and he hit a demo button. We heard like all hundred tracks of the demo, and we were like vibing with all the tracks, and we were like, thinking like, okay, so we can use that as inspiration. But suddenly, because of his mistake, we are able to start somewhere, and just in that day, we are able to come up with the structure for the song and everything. <coughs> So like, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of huh? funny, a happy accident. <laughs> 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 so I was given the list of, uh, of, of applicants <coughs> for, for Dot Wave. And, uh, and I, I listened to the track and did not pay much attention to 
the bio. Yeah, on purpose. <laughs> yeah, it's not that lazy. There was one that was like really fun and trashy, that kind of music that I really like. So uh, I didn't come at it as, as from the angle like uh, what suits the dismal sound, but uh, rather I came from an angle where where I, I, I see uh, when I listen to the, the list of songs, can I see a, a, a new version? Can I see a version that is more evolved than the current one and where I can add value? I saw with Venus Landing uh, when I listened to the track 99, I was like, ooh, wow, okay, some good ideas in here. I think I can help. Working with these guys has been like, it's like a, uh, we call it like a time machine. <laughs> yeah. So it's really nice to see like how a band in the infancy, how it's, it's the, how they work together. And to me, that is like, oh man, I kind of miss that, you know, like having that kind of energy, having that kind of like, um, they can willingness to explore as well. Yeah. And just like, and they're, they're friends, right? So like, yeah, to, to me, it's quite nice seeing that kind of dynamic again. It reminds me of like, like, like how my life started as well, like, you know, where we were like really friends and just joking around non-stop and like music is just like a side thing. <laughs> yeah. And it's been nostalgia for me. Lah. Honestly, it's such an amazing experience working with David. Um, I would say it wasn't something I expected, or it wasn't something we expected as a band. Uh, we thought it would be something much more professional, but it ended up being something really, really enjoyable. And it's something that we look forward to every like week coming to his studio to work on our original song with him. And it's really an honor to um, be working with someone that is such uh, with that amount of talent. Uh. Yeah, to add on, so he's quite a supportive guy as well. Like any ideas we have, we just tell him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, we can work with that idea." And like, it's just because of his support, right? We can, we are just we feel very comfortable to add in our own flavors, like for instrumental wise, and melt together, like melt in the whole song. So like, yeah, we learned quite a lot from him. Yeah, Anaki loves him the most. <laughs> biggest fan just boy. Quite biggest fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anaki is a fan boy. But very friendly, very fun to work with, and then. Yeah, he will, he will elevate our ideas. Uh. Like any ideas that we have, he will elevate it uh, to make it even better. On uh, serious note, like, David is really, um, I would say he's like one of the best. But he is, to me, uh, so far like, in my life, I think really, um, really, really amazing to work with. Doesn't shut down any of our ideas. And if he does, it, the, he explains it as to why and how we can do it better. Hello. Guide us in the direction that we want to take our song in, mm -hmm. instead of um, changing our song. So, he, in a sense, he's like, um, just uh, not just being our own producer, or not just being the producer for our song, but also uh, helping all of us to grow like musically. A mentor, so. Yeah, legit yeah. mentor. Yeah. Well, he is a mentor. <laughs> 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 Not because of lockdown, but because it was just more convenient. Uh. Then after that, they came. They came on the studio. They have an initial check. In the initial check, we really started tracking. Really, we just like, actually, yeah, hey, we 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 got time, I guess. And <laughs> yeah, just and ever since then, they've just been stealing my guitars and and basses and tracking. <laughs> they were like, hey, it's not I can use. And from then, and it, this the guys, uh, Jones keyboard has been here since the start. So <laughs> they think they feel very comfortable here, lah. So it's nice to have that kind of like, uh, we click straight away like that kind of relationship where, where it was very easy to get along with them as people, yeah. And then from there it becomes very, the, the defenses are down, right? So we can talk about anything we want, including that track. Actually, to be honest, this whole event, uh, this producing and everything. Yeah, I would say so as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so yeah this, this event has like, been one of the most fun, most, uh, I would say, eye-opening for us. Mm -hmm. And we really discovered a lot of our, our music and where we can take it together as a band. Uh. Mm -hmm. I see myself to them as like an external person. So someone who is not within their clique of people, their sphere of influence, you call it. So 
simply by being so I provide a different perspective yeah and we are in the same industry uh, music industry but I provide a very different interpretation and, 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 and uh, perspective on your music and likewise if you are a new artist or artists have been around there will, there will be different uh, different thoughts and opinions on your music uh, so I think it's important to collect some of that you know uh, some of it of course don't take to heart lah, if it's like it's too personal if it comes from a, a personal place or what but like but I think it, just having a, a second opinion is really important you know you're not happy with your work there's a there's a reason why you know in uh, or if you're happy with your work there's also a reason why you know? <laughs> so Seeking out an external opinion, not for valid, pure validation, but just for opinion's sake, I think is very important.